DIC, Disseminated Intravascular Coagulation. How do we remember that what is happening in DIC? So look, just look at the word DIC and everything will, you will remember everything regarding DIC. This D is for D dimer, this D is for FDP and I is for increase. So in DIC there is increase in D dimer and there is increase in FDP. Now if uh, degradation product okay fibrinogen degradation product is increased it's mean that the fibrinogen is going to decrease so in dic fibrinogen is going to decrease this i is for intravascular thrombosis if there is intravascular thrombosis the platelet is going to decrease which is called thrombocytopenia so in dic the platelet is decreased and fibrinogen is decreased but d-dimer and fdp is increased this c is for cortical necrosis in the kidney this c is for coagulopathy the C is for coagulation factor decrease. As there is thrombosis, so the coagulation factor decrease. And if the coagulation factor decrease, there will be bleeding. So you will see the bleeding in DIC. Coagulation cascade is activated because of thrombosis. Now, the cause of DIC is thromboplastin. And the diagnosis for DIC, we look for D-dimer. There is increase in D-dimer. And it is strongly associated with gram-negative sepsis. Gram-negative bacterial sepsis. 50 year old female with a history of SLE is admitted uh, with fever, chill and burning and urination so it is a UTI. She quickly become hypotensive, note this word hypotensive despite aggressive resuscitation. Urine and blood culture grow gram negative rot so it is a case of sepsis. One hour after admission she started bleeding so note this word bleeding. From you know function site laboratory studies show the following uh, complete blood count. Now. Uh, just look for the platelet the here the platelet is 68,000 normal platelet is 150,000 to 400,000 so 68,000 is less than 150,000 so platelet count is decreased which is called thrombocytopenia leukocyte count is 24,500 so it is normal leukocyte count is like 4,000 to 11,000 so it is more than 11,000 like it is 24,000 so there is leukocytosis Prothrombin time which is called PT. So the normal prothrombin time is 11 to 15 seconds and here is 23 seconds. So PT is increased. Now partial thromboplastin time here is 60. Normal is P normal PTT is less than 2 seconds and here is 66 seconds. So PTT is also increased. PT is increased, PTT is increased. Plasma fibrinogen is 100 which is mean plasma fibrinogen is decreased. Which of the following is most likely diagnosis? Look for like there is sepsis, there is bleeding, there is thrombocytopenia, leukocytosis, PT is increased, PTT is increased, plasma fibrinogen is decreased. So the answer is like DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. Look for the answer, the here the answer is C.